Hi, I'm Sven Hosford. Today we're at St. Clair with James Buckley. He is the music director here at St. Clair, and that's kind of an interesting title for someone with an interesting background. Why don't you uh, fill us in on your musical background a little bit? Sure. I, I, I uh, became involved with music, of course, at a young age when I started playing, taking piano lessons at a, at a young age in grade school. And uh, I, I went from there into singing quite a bit. Uh, and uh, so I always had this musical sense inside me and it gradually worked its way out and I started playing uh, music uh, when I was younger in bands and so forth and uh, finally uh, I, uh, I gave up playing uh, music for quite a while uh, and moved on to some other things but uh, as I got older, I came back. You were actually out of music entirely for entirely, a number of years. Entirely, yeah. I, I did not even pick up an instrument or do anything musically yeah. for over 20 years. And then uh, I had some friends ask me to play a show with them, a, a benefit. And uh, I did it, and uh, reluctantly I did it. And he sort of gave me a little push that I needed. But once I did it, I realized what was happening was that I was affecting people mm. in in such a really good way that I thought, you know, this is a good thing. I think I might want to resurrect this and mm. and maybe uh, see where it goes, not knowing where it was going to go at the time. But I knew that if I did do it, I was going to be working with a lot of benefits and good causes and so forth. That felt like the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, gradually, uh, I uh, came into Seclair and talked to uh, Dr. Chaudray about some graphic design things that I was uh, doing at the time and also mentioned the music and he was very uh, very interested in that and and how did that work out what did you what did you do what was the first thing you did there well uh, I think what I just I started doing was just playing at some special events that he was having in-house and so I did a few of those things and it was well received and so, so we started brainstorming a bit about, okay, what can we do with it now? And, and he had some ideas about uh, me doing it for some patients. And uh, I said, sure. I said, that, that was something different f for me, but I was certainly interested because, you know, I, I feel that it was music to me was, it was time for me to give back mm -hmm. somehow, some way to help others. And I, I knew that music... As a, as a therapy was very successful and uh, only recently uh, really they, they've really got data back on how successful it is. Now when you when you played for people what kind of things did you see? What kind of results did you get? Or what kind of reactions? Did well you, you know uh, the things that would really uh, move me would, would because I always noticed reactions uh, that I saw out there and I would see people uh, start tapping their feet or or humming along or singing along if they knew what it was. Sometimes they would sing along with songs that I wrote that they never, I knew they never heard of before, <laughs> but they would actually sing along with it and said, hey, I must be connecting with somebody here. And then all of a sudden, when, when I, I would find out that after any kind of event or show that I would do, people would come up to me and say, you know, that song you did about this particular thing, uh, that, that, I know exactly what you're talking about. So I knew I had some kind of knack of connecting with people in that sense. So uh, that, that's what helped this thing grow, you know, even more. So we took it to patients and say, said, well, how can we make this uh, uh, something that could connect with them? And I found it very easily. Uh, it was easier to connect with the, the patients than it was with people that weren't patients. Doctors. <laughs> yeah, so be, only because, you know, the world, their world is a little bit smaller and less uh, uh, distracted than, than ours, you know, and so they were really wide open for it. And uh, you had a very specific uh, kind of result in a hospital setting, too. Yes. Want to talk about that? Uh, yes, so that, that started out as, uh, in, in this case, it was very odd that in between the changing of the staff that worked at the hospital, the patients in the ward were 
would get kind of worked up and kind of up, upset because it was a change, you know. So just it, that change. That change was every enough. Every 12 to, hours was enough to set them off. Enough on. to trigger okay. something in them that would cause this, not, not real chaos, but just unsettled. And uh, the idea was to go there during that time, about a one hour uh, transition period of the changing of the shift, and just calm the savage beast with some music and it worked mm. and we said okay well that was good mm. where can we go from here and we had to brainstorm some more and it, it went much farther than we thought we were just trying to do that just accomplish that mm -hmm. but we did accomplish a lot more we found out after that so uh, since then you know we've uh, decided that we're going to try to offer this uh, on a continuous basis to uh, those who we feel might need it or might be open to uh, give it a try. So, hence the uh, the the uh, music uh, therapeutic wise would be a, a good way to help calm people down. And like I said, the research that has come to this just over the last 15, 10 years, 10 or 15 years was that a lot of different uh, uh, people and uh, sicknesses and diseases and medical afflictions were, were being helped by music. Uh, what do you think it actually is that music actually does? What, what's your sense? Uh, my sense that, uh, it, you know, it has different effects on all of us. It's, you know, I, I term it as a, a universal language because no matter what the music is, if it's upbeat or if it's relaxing and soft and quiet, it has that effect on us. So if we're hearing something that's uh, very upbeat, you know, you, you want to dance. That's why disco and uh, rap and hip hop uh, become so popular because it gets people moving. Uh, and, and the other side of it is the soft uh, s surrounding uh, nature sounds and things like that uh, have actually relaxed people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's the mood, mm -hmm. it, it, it helps fill the mood. It's almost like a soundtrack of your life, you know, and, and if we had that uh, ability to hear music like uh, be carried through the, through the air and through the wind, uh, then, then we would hear those, those sounds that calm us and those sounds that excite us. You know? Now, there's also a difference between listening to music and listening to live music, and there's also a difference between listening to any kind of music and performing and being a part of it. So when you saw some of the patients like engaging and singing along with you, did you see a greater, I don't know, a greater healing, a greater en engagement, uh, a greater sense of, of what? You, you tell me. Yes, I think what, what it did for that short time that I was there, it broke down the concrete walls and linoleum floors that they walk on and they're surrounded by. And it actually took them to a place that was a lot softer and comfortable. But what happened was they, they, want, they engaged themselves. I didn't, you know, um, push them to do that. They just felt like doing it. So some of the things that I came up with was to ask them who wished to participate in writing lyrics. And being a songwriter, I said, here, what we'll, we'll do is you write lyrics about what you feel and I'll put music to them. Hmm. So I had, you know, six or eight patients actually do that, write me, give me handwritten lyrics. So that was... So that's becoming really engaged in the process. That was, yeah, yeah, they were really engaged. And then we would have occasions where they would actually participate using percussion instruments and so forth. Uh, a few of the patients were actually musically uh, uh, educated. So, you know, there was an engagement there too because we could talk the same language. Uh, so and, and then dancing as well, so you know we they would get up and dance and and, and some of them wanted to do that. So the, we were, there were so many different ways that you could connect with them, and often you know I would get there and somebody would say something and I would just sit down with the guitar and make up a song right there and then about it. And they would say, <laughs> "Wow, what what song was that?" I said, "I just made it up now, you know, because someone said something, you know, very interesting." And so. You know, they, they were always interested in, in that. Yeah. And of course, they, they always do request that me, you know, can you do this, can you do that? But So now you've taken all that experience and you're bringing that to the Tuesday morning groups at 10 a.m. here at St. Clair. 
So is that kind of what happens in the groups now, or uh, well, what do we do? Well, right now we are we are doing a a Monday morning uh, group. Oh, Monday morning. Monday morning sorry. group yeah. thing, Monday yes. Morning, yeah. But but Tuesdays now we are starting is we're, we're going to call it like sort of a cafe kind of environment. That's right. Tuesday's the cafe. Yes. Okay. Now Tuesday. Second uh, Tuesday of every month. Second Tuesday of every month we're going to be here for about an hour, twelve thirty to one thirty, and we're going to be some, doing some different things. Um, last last year I had a, a cafe uh, atmosphere that was on Friday nights and we had all kinds of different entertainment here besides music so we're gonna try something during the day that will just engage people a place to relax a place to just listen to some good music come out on the lunch hour yeah and they yeah. can converse and talk or you know throw things back and forth and just see where it goes so once again it's like it's like uh, going to swim in a new pool for the first time you don't know what to expect but you're gonna go in there and take a swim and we're gonna see what happens and how how people enjoy themselves so really you know it's it's for the benefit of them not for for me but I get my reward back sure. from that when I see the results so second Tuesdays 12:30 to 1 30 very casual come out hang out and enjoy some music Yes. But let's go back then. Monday mornings, 10 o'clock. Let's talk about that group a little bit. Too. Yeah, that, that Monday morning group uh, is, uh, you know, the, these are uh, uh, patients that uh, are getting exposed to what music can do to help them with, with what they're uh, looking to, uh, to, to do with their lives and uh, help create... Uh, a comfortable feeling of uh, being able to open up and talk a little bit more about what how they feel and what they need to do and and work on some specific things but the fact that it's live mm -hmm. uh, has a little bit better of a feel than yeah. recorded music being played you can make up the lyrics and make up songs <coughs> and right I can make up songs I have uh, quite uh -huh. a few compositions of my own that seem to fit really well because I, when I did find out, when I did come back and start playing, was that uh, I started writing music that was connecting with people. So words and the music together somehow would reach out to, in, in, to people. And I, and I wouldn't really write about my own experiences as much as I would come across people day to day, and they would inspire me mm -hmm. to uh, write music. Uh, so I've had quite a few of those that, uh, and, and, and I see that that's, that's my way of, finding a way to, to connect with people is to talk about things that are common or that they can relate to, that they say, oh, yeah, that happened to me once, mm -hmm. and that's exactly how I felt. So they're the ones that give me the information, and, uh, and I take it and, and make something out of it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So James Buckley here every Tuesday from 1230, or second Tuesday of every month, 1230 to 130 for the cafe and 10, 10 o'clock Monday mornings for group sessions yes and, and it sounds like you're getting as much healing out of this as anybody oh else. absolutely uh, I, I can't even put that into words to describe what it's doing for me but uh, you know I, I think it's just it's just my way of giving back uh, whatever I can to, to help others right. and uh, you know that, that's that's what I'm here for I think and that's why I'm here right Thanks very much, James Buckley, musical director at St. Clair. Thank you very much.